Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement this uh, Niagara ring particle system uh, from scratch. So let's see how to implement it today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. So later on I am planning to use this uh, ring cis particle system uh, in the UI for uh, in our adventure series where we show the notifications and other confidence level changes okay first I'll create a folder fx mm, new f and fx let's create new Niagara system from select demeters which one should I use this is simple this loop pin fountain spray I'll use that one I'll call it NS print right so this is what we have mm. But uh, here, yeah, I don't know how to change this background here. But if we just open another static mesh or something, and here we have preview scene settings, maybe we can get it. Ah, yeah, we can. Let me just make this completely black. So that I can easily see that right now uh, add velocity in corn gravity yeah let's leave these like this and instead of this sphere location let me disable that I'll add Location. Ah, uh, this rotate around point. Let's use that. So here, um, I'll set the radius to something like fifty. Did it do any change? Yes, it is changing. And rotation phase. Let's tie this with time. Engine time. Yeah, now you can see it is rotating, but I need to rotate it uh, in a vertical plane. So for that, I'll set the y axis instead of y equals zero. Let's set this one. Okay, now it is rotating in a vertical plane. Let me disable this head velocity in cone and disable the gravity force as well. Okay, cool. Now we got a ring. Let's uh, reduce the lifetime 0.4.5 and let's set some illuminate in color like this and this should these particles should move away a bit from the center so for that let's add uh, Add velocity from point fix issue right let me reduce this mm -hmm. right I think it would be better if the particles got smaller as they move away so scale right size yeah 
this is red also for the sprite render this is default sprite material let's try this one red here gradient and uh, this one is facing camera underline let's set this to velocity aligned yeah and the alignment here yeah. this is still need some noise let's try curl noise a bit too much let's reduce the velocity let's try increasing the rate to like thousand hmm. oh wait I think I made a mistake I, uh, yeah this must me this is the mistake actually I was meant to reduce this right mm, maybe a bit more okay and uh, wait let me try something else instead of setting says scale sprite size what if I use a scale sprite size by speed let's try that and see if we can get a different result uh, this one let's go with uh, curve here we can enable a curve right Let's add a key here. doing some changes here what if I have some more small particles as well or we can have random non-uniform that seems interesting yeah also to have a complete cycle let's increase the upper limit of the max life time a bit and then uh, if I disable this they will stay in the same place no Let's increase drag. Right, anyway, I think this should be enough. So, actually, if I further increase the drag, let's try 10. You see, the less uh, the particles are moving outwards. Mm, that's interesting. What are these warnings? Right, now oh, this is GPU, so if it is a GPU simulation, we should set fixed bound. So let me duplicate this. And then 
add some more particles that are going out to it with reduced drag should be smaller so right and the middle one should stay longer I think I'm gonna stop this episode right here and yeah, I modified the lifetime in max like this and in the second emitter I increase this velocity from point to 1 let's try 2 maybe 1 is enough okay so this is the final effect And I'm going to stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.